So DJI have launched a new firmware update for this DJI Mini 4 Pro, saying that they have fixed some known issues. This has led to a raft of comments from you, my subscribers, and indeed videos that have been posted on YouTube to say that there has been major problems after this update. There has been issues with, with return to home, and there has also been issues with focus track. So in this video, I'm going to take this DJI Mini 4 Pro up for a flight before the firmware update and after the firmware update to find out exactly what is going on. So let's get into it. The reason for this video is quite simply because uh, there has been quite some suggestion. I've had a lot of comments from viewers. I know other channels that are friends of mine have had a lot of comments as well relating to some issues that may have been discovered by some other YouTubers uh, showing that there is a problem with the return to home um, and also a big major change to the way focus track is not picking up humans or people etc so in this video i'm going to be doing a back-to-back -back comparison as you can see on my screen i'm actually using the old firmware 01000700 for my initial flight then i'm going to update to the latest firmware repeat them and just see what exactly is going on so i'm going to take a look at the issue number one then which is the suggestion that after the firmware update the return to home is not working correctly and the dji mini 4 pro is not rising to its preset altitude. So let's just take a look by looking in my settings on the DJI flight app. Our auto return to home altitude is of course set at 70 meters. So that's the height we can expect it to raise to once we conduct our test flight. So let's go ahead and take off and just begin our test flight. Now, of course, just to mention again, this is with the old firmware, okay? So we're going to be doing some back-to-back -back comparisons. So just taking a flight out, I think 47 meters is more than enough altitude. So we just need to fly out a little bit, um, maybe 150, 200 meters or so, just so it's far enough to get a, a good return to home test going on. As you can see, we're just going to take a nice little flight over the North Sea. It's really, really chilly here today, guys. Um, but as you can see, everything is set. So, you know, let's just back out of that and let's click return to home and just see what happens. Return to home. First of all, we're going to just spin round. And as you can see, let's just see what happens. Here we go. It is actually returning to home and it is doing so at that 47 meters. So maybe they're onto something because it doesn't actually seem to be returning back at that 70 meters altitude. So what I'm going to do now is just spin the drone around. Okay. And we're going to go all the way back out again and just repeat this test and just see if we get a slightly different result. As you can see, I popped it in spot mode just to make this process a little bit quicker. So what we're going to do is just get a couple of hundred meters out, just like we did last time. So let's just pop into our DJI Fly app settings just to check to see if there's anything we can change. Because do you remember the suggestion? The fact that the DJI Mini 4 Pro after the firmware update is not actually increase into that return to home height well really under the optimal setting it doesn't for it to be able to return to home using the preset height we need to literally set preset so as you can see we've just selected preset now under preset that is the setting which allows the aircraft to ascend return to, to home. auto return to home altitude and as you can see as we spawn that round now we're in that preset setting the drone is indeed ascending to that 70 meters then it's going to make its way all the way back to the home point so essentially as you can see this is not whatsoever an issue with the drone it's nothing to do with a firmware update absolutely nothing it's simply the uh, suggestion or the issue of come from the person that posted this video quite simply being in the wrong return to home setting but claiming there is a problem after the firmware update as you can see absolutely not at all but don't worry because what i'm going to Landing. do is i'm going to update the firmware later on in the video i'm going to test it again just to make sure there's absolutely no bugs whatsoever so now we've taken a look at the return to home there is also a suggestion that after the firmware update the dji mini 4 pro's focus track setting is not working correctly now this is the base test using the old firmware and 100 you know i am with you guys 
you can fully see that the focus track is picking up all sorts of objects that it thinks we want to um, actually follow but it doesn't seem to be picking up any humans and this of course is before the update another suggestion has been it's been after the update but as you can see there is people walking um there is people in the shot and essentially no it's not really picking anybody up now just to see what happens when i bring the drone back down towards myself okay as you can see as i got to about 20 meters give or take um, it actually started picking me up so it does seem it is working when we get a little bit closer but what i'm going to do is just land the drone update the firmware and we'll do some back-to-back -back comparisons Whereas, as you can see, the Mini 4 Pro firmware has been installed. We are now on the latest Homeport version. Updated. Okay, let's just check that in the settings. Click about, and then there you go, 01000800. So that is the new um, firmware. And as you can see, our auto return to home altitude is set at that 70 meters, just like the uh, initial test. So Stop. again, let's go ahead Point and take updated. off. And let's do the exact same thing we did before. Just want to get um just under 70 meters so let's just take a flight out just get a little bit back over the water again and at a decent enough distance uh, to make this a fair one oh i've gone over that 72 meters let's just come back down a little bit so of course we need to be up to see if it does rise like it's supposed to yeah 56 meters will do it so let's go ahead and hit that return to home and just see what happens let's return to run, just turn around as it has done and let's just see if it ascends there you go yep it's doing exactly as it should and it's heading all the way back to the home point so i consider that successful but what we now want to do is again we're going to cancel that spin it back round and just to further rule out any issues whatsoever okay let's just bring that altitude back down again 50 meters or so let's fly back out now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our dji flight app settings click it back to optimal and then just hit the return to home again and if there's no problems this should not return this at all because it's in optimal setting where it doesn't use your auto return to home altitude and there we go as you can see that is coming all the way back to the home point with absolutely no issues so for me that one is absolutely debunked no problem there both return to home altitudes before and after the firmware update optimal and preset are both working exactly as they should so let's now test the focus track settings um and just see what happens here okay so again let's just move around a little bit let's come back down obviously let's get over this road i don't really like it as you can see it is picking up everything just the exact way it should we're only you know at very low altitude we're only at 29 meters okay so if it was going to start picking people up it would have done by now it isn't um so is that a problem with the firmware well i don't think so because as we fly a little bit closer to me she gets a little bit closer a little bit closer i'm guessing yep yeah, there we go 30 meters and it started to pick me up okay um or just under 30 meters and as you can see i can execute spotlight absolutely perfectly and it is picking up humans within that sort of flight distance so once again that firmware update didn't really seem to affect the way that the focus track was working it was more a result of the distance away from the target so let's land the drone and come up with the conclusion right so that concludes the flight test with the dji mini 4 pro and as you saw when we tested the return to home and when we tested the focus track for me there seems to be absolutely no difference in either of those okay it just simply is pretty much unrealistic expectations when it comes to the focus track because if we refer to the dji user manual it literally tells us that for this dji mini 4 pro using focus track to be able to identify a human human it needs to be so much closer than what other people have been reporting and when it comes to the you know the dji mini 4 pro not rising when it actually comes to the auto return to home simply that's a setting issue when it's under the optimal return to home it will not rise when it's under preset it will use your auto return to home altitude you set in the dji fly app 
So to conclude, is there a problem? Well, yes, I did say there was a problem in my thumbnail. And to make sure this video is not clickbait whatsoever, I'll tell you exactly the problem. It's nothing to do with DJI. It's nothing to do with the Fly app. It's nothing to do with the firmware update. It's everything to do with people spreading misinformation and literally scaremongering you, the viewers, that might not be that tech savvy as to believing that something like this isn't working correctly when quite simply it's user error on their part and really I think they should know better. If you found this video useful, again, please do give it a big thumbs up. It really tells the YouTube algorithm more people just like you may want to watch my content. Subscribe if you're awesome. And until next time, see you again soon.